Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're heading over to one of our 125 gallon aquariums, the Mylochromus tank. But we're not talking about the Mylochromus today. It's a beautiful fish, but today we're going to focus on a smaller African cichlid, the Labidochromus chiruleus, sometimes known as the yellow lab cichlid. Now you might be saying, Evan, that's not a yellow lab. And you know what? That's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Let's dive on in. All right, let's address the yellow elephant in the room. This is what most people think about when they hear Labidochromus chiruleus. This is the yellow lab cichlid, and it is a very common fish in the hobby. I myself have kept these fish for years in many different setups. From our massive 600 gallon cichlid aquarium filled with large haplochromines and Malawian peacocks, to our smaller 200 gallon cube tank we use as a grow out for some other African cichlids. We've even kept them as species only in a 75 gallon where they dazzled against an all black background and substrate. This is a truly amazing fish for several reasons. And we've actually done a video on that in the past, which I'll link here. But we're not here to talk about the yellow lab. Today we are talking about the zebra lab. That is the common name for this variation of Libidochromus. Now, they are the exact same species, but believe it or not, these fish are identical in every way except the outward appearance of color. And the only reason for their difference is different geography. These, these fish come from the, the same lake, but it is a very large lake, Lake Malawi in southeastern Africa. Now, while the yellow labs come from a collection point known as Lion's Cove, the zebra labs come from a collection point known as Lundo Island, which is near the shore on the opposite side of Lake Malawi, which, remember, it's, it's a very big lake. In fact, there are other collection point variations of this exact same species. There is an all-white version of this fish from Nkata Bay, and another from the Rarwe collection point, I may have butchered that pronunciation. Uh, that, that one looks a lot more like the yellow lab, but is a bit more orange in color. Now, I don't have footage of those two collection points because I don't have those fish in my fish room yet. But quick sidebar, we have this 200 gallon cube tank that is three foot by three foot by three foot. And right now we're growing out some juvenile haplochromines. Uh, once these fish get a little bigger, I'm gonna have to move them to a tank with a bigger footprint. So I think, I'm toying with the idea of turning this tank into a Buna tank, housing the yellow labs, the zebra labs, and then I would add the white labs from Nkata Bay. I think that would be an amazing tank. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section, please. Uh, I, I know that the, the caveat there would be I would need to be careful with uh, crossbreeding of those collection variations. Definitely knowing that, I still think it would be a really fun tank. But let's get back to the zebra labs. Now, I'm not really sure why the common name is zebra lab. I mean, I get that they have stripes. So, I mean, I'm sure that's the genesis of it. But I think the blue lab would be a much more fitting description. These fish have a base blue color, which can vary from a light pale blue to a more vibrant sky blue, which I find very beautiful. And they, of course, have the dark blue bars. Now here we're looking at a male, which of course displays more vibrant colors. He is always showing his strong blue bars with the black stripe and the dorsal fin on a uh, more sky blue base. Now the females also show these bars, but I find that they actually vary the most depending on their mood. Here we see two differently colored females. The female in the foreground is closer to their typical day-to-day -day coloration. But the female in the background, you can see, is holding eggs. She has recently bred, and for whatever reason, she has felt the need to tone down her bars to the point where you almost can't see them. And she is now a much paler blue. But even in this scenario, I still find them to be very beautiful aquarium fish. And it's worth noting that they don't always look like that even when holding. This female is also holding eggs, and she is a much deeper shade of blue. So they look good in pretty much any situation. Let's go ahead and talk about care requirements in case you're interested in ever keeping this fish yourself. 
I keep my zebra labs in a 125 gallon aquarium with some other African cichlids, uh, these Mylochromis anifermis. Now, you do not need to keep your labs in a tank this big, but I like how they look with the Mylochromis. I think the colors correspond pretty well. And of course, the more space, the, the happier they are. Bigger is always better. But you can keep a group of these successfully, uh, very successfully, in a 75 gallon, or e even down to a 40 breeder. Uh, I wouldn't go any lower than that. As far as tank mates, you actually have a pretty wide range. Now, I'm going to start off first by playing it safe and telling you to keep these fish with other Malawian cichlids. Pretty much any Malawian cichlid, uh, regardless of size or aggression. I have kept yellow labs with full-grown Malawi hawks, if that tells you anything. These guys can hold their own. I also enjoy keeping them with Malawian cichlids because I tend to enjoy more geographically accurate setups. So that's just kind of my own preference. But you can definitely keep your zebra labs with pretty much any African cichlid in general. Now, if we step outside the comfort zone a little bit, because Libidochromis chiruleus is so peaceful, relative to African cichlids, that is, they are a lot more peaceful than you would expect. I have seen these fish kept with non-African cichlids, even kept with community fish, such as angelfish or even quarry cats. Now, I personally wouldn't do that myself, but I have seen it done and allegedly done successfully. So it's just something to keep in mind. For feeding, they will take pretty much anything, but your best bet is to stick to some high quality pellets or flakes meant for African cichlids. Uh, if you get some foods that lean too heavily into the animal proteins or fats, that can cause some health issues with Malawian fish. Uh, but there is no shortage of foods that are great for this species. I myself feed a variety of north fin and extreme uh, cichlid pellets and flakes, and, and even their community formulas are, are pretty much the same thing, so they work great as well. Um, I buy my food from keepfishkeeping.com. It's a great website for food and other fish room supplies. As far as water parameters go, these fish are pretty adaptable and hardy. In nature, they do prefer hard water with a high pH, which is what we have here, but only because that's what comes out of my tap. Uh, if you live in areas with softer water, uh, these fish should do just fine, unless it's an extreme, maybe with a pH of lower than six and a half, then I might start putting some stuff in the tank, like crushed coral, to, uh, to add some buffering capacity. Uh, but outside of those extremes, these fish will do, do great in pretty much any water. Uh, we keep the temperature right around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, but they'll do totally fine anywhere in the 75 to 80 range. And outside of that, you just have to give them clean water. These fish are voracious, they will eat a lot of food anything you drop in the tank so to that end they will dirty up the water a bit so just make sure you have good filtration and keep nice clean water for the fish on this 125 we run a sea kim tidal hang on back filter the 110 series and we also have a sponge filter for good measure and that does quite well for the inhabitants of this tank but hey everyone, that's about all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. This focus on the zebra lab, the Libidochromis chiruleus from the Lundo Island Collection Point. It's a beautiful and uncommon fish that I would recommend to any hobbyist. But hey guys, if you have any comments or questions, drop them below. I love hearing from you. Other than that, take it easy. I will see you next time.